What's up, real world? Twisted luck. I hope everybody's good. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you, as I always do. I keep meaning to mention, if you don't follow on Twitter uh, this account, you should. It's Raw's Alerts, and I keep meaning to mention that to people because it's he's got a great account. It's just uh, super fast, oddly fast news updates, breaking news updates, uh, things that are happening around all over the country all over the world, and, uh, like, in the moment, before you hear it anywhere else, and it's awesome, and he just, he blew up, he was doing such a good job, he, he started out and just blew up really quick, but, uh, it makes a lot of the rest of our jobs even easier, so he's actually helping us out, because we're always scouring to try to keep up with what's going on, and we're still doing that, but we're getting, you know, it's, it's like we're getting a, a, a little head start with this account, so, Roz Alerts, we appreciate Roz Alerts, and definitely should follow them, great stuff on there, and um, and this is where I first heard of the things I'm going to talk about right now, some of the things I'm going to talk about right now, so we had, so East Palestine, right, East Palestine, you know, uh, the, the city in Ohio that uh, the media doesn't want to talk about anymore, and they just mentioned briefly after they were, you know, dumped on with uh, toxic toxic chemicals in the sky falling to the ground, soaking into the ground, flowing into their water systems, which is flowing all over the place uh, outside of East Palestine. Not to mention what went up in the air. You know, we're familiar with it. Not because the news talked about it, because we've talked about it. So I guess they decided, you know what? what why keep it contained to East Palestine when we could, when we could spread it out some more to some areas that that maybe feel left out. So a truck carrying 40,000 pounds of toxic soil from the cleanup in East Palestine, and they're hauling it to wherever they're hauling it to uh, properly dispose of it. Uh, it well, it crashed in another city in Ohio, in Ohio and it, it dumped uh, about half of its load into the ground there. So they cleaned up a, a toxic, the toxic soil in East Palestine, not all of it, you know, one area, cleaned it all up and dumped it on another area of Ohio. So now we've got, obviously the ground is not clean in East Palestine. And obviously now where they dumped the soil randomly, uh, that's not, that's not clean there either. So now we got two toxic areas, but they came out right away and said, Hey, no, don't worry. Nobody worry. It's totally safe. Your air, your water, your ground isn't in any jeopardy. Don't worry. But if you recall, uh, during the East Palestine event, or right after it, they were like, go home, drink your water, breathe your air. It's safe. We promise. And it was up to the people to identify for themselves that everything that lives outdoors was dying and mutating. And they were like, well, well, are you sure it's safe? And they're like, yeah, those natural causes all those fish right just natural causes that wasn't suddenly that all these fish natural causes that's all it was it was their time anyway uh as they've told us before about actual humans with some other things that we're also not allowed to talk about all just coincidence right all these things just coincidence uh so so that was a treat but you can't make that kind of thing up you you know what i mean we've got First of all, we've got train derailment after train derailment after train derailment. And there have been people that have been like, well, there's always train derailments. You're just paying attention now. Right. But there's a lot of other things going on at the same time. Right. And there's a lot of hazardous things on these trains. We don't nor, normally, you know, if this is just something that just happens all the time. You would think if big mushroom clouds of toxic, to, you know, toxic material or blowing up into the sky and into the water, we would hear of that at least somewhere if this is a regular thing. So that type of thing is not really a regular thing. So that type of train derailment, along with everything else that's going on, in like every direction from every way and every possible fashion is going on at the same time, that's when it gets weird. And then, and then, you know, we have the, that agency that was coming to, to survey the environmental agency that was coming to survey East Palestine, well, well, their plane just whoop, went down after takeoff and everybody on board, and I believe that was an independent agency, right? 
And I don't know, were they going to blow the whistle on how bad this actually is? Or is it just coincidence that the plane just went down and everybody on board assigned to that case and already investigating that case, prepared to go out and get on the ground and check this out, you know, they, they cease to exist at that point. Just coincidence. Now, cleaning up the toxins in East Palestine, obviously, again, it's just coincidence that the truck just crashes and dumps the toxic material in another part of Ohio. This is just coincidence. Anybody that's saying anything else, it's crazy. It's just crazy. Coincidences happen all the time like this, right? That's all it is. It's all, any, everything else is just fear mongering, right? Yeah. So uh, I love to, that's, that's also what they like to say that when people notice what's going on, if you see what's happening, you're fear mongering, right? So not fear mongering is apparently not paying attention. The mainstream media, that's the, I, the definition of fear mongering, if you ask me and many other people, uh, but they say just looking at reality is fear mongering, ignore it. And then you won't be fear mongering anymore. Just pretend it's not there. And then you will just be mongering. I'm not really sure. So on top of that, right uh, we, now, now another dairy farm exploded, a dairy plant poof, exploded, right? Just because these things happen. Another coincidence, another co- I know some of you crazy people are going to be like, well, what about all these other plant fires and explosions and random combustions and planes dropping into them, you know, and chickens and all sorts of different food plants just being destroyed. Well, I'll tell you, that's also just coincidence, mister or miss. Just coincidence, they said. Just coincidence. Don't pay attention to it, you monger. Mongrel. Uh, so, yeah, so that happened too. Uh, killed a whole bunch of cows. Uh, some people are saying thousands unknown. Up, up more than 18,000, who knows how many. Uh, so that's going on. But again, just coincidence with these eggplants, these egg production, uh, chicken farms, uh, cattle farms, dairy farms, food plants. This is all just coincidence. Everybody just simmer down now, simmer down now. Just coincidence. Don't worry about it. It's funny, this shirt gets more thumbs up and laughs and where can I get one of those reactions everywhere I go it's the you know pronoun one which is one of my favorites too but anyway just not to get off topic real quick but obviously I just took a break there and went inside the store and isn't it funny I know, because I noticed it a few times and everybody sees this isn't it funny when you encounter a, like a stranger passing like on the walkway or you know in the store or anything either and you acknowledge each other right but you don't know each other why is it that we give that, that, sorry, sorry to hear about your loss look, you know, it's like, (laughs) it's always the same thing, it's so funny, I thought someone just, some guy just did it to me, and then uh, a minute later, some old lady, it's it's always, it's like universal, it's like in our instinct, when we see a stranger, we indicate to them that we are sorry for their loss, you know, we don't shake the head, but I don't know, just an odd observation that I thought was funny, but uh, you could ask my wife. I'm five, so I'm easily amused. So it might not be the same for, for the rest of you. But all of this stuff, come on. You know, you can't make this stuff up. You literally can't make this stuff up. And for people to say, you know, like the mainstream media likes to make um, spiracies out of it, right? They make spiracy. That's just a spiracy. If anybody knew it here, I, I know what the whole word is. I'm not saying it like that due to the fact that I'm five. I actually do know it, uh, but I don't say it for a reason because, well, freedom of speech and such um, isn't really a thing. That's just an illusion. But uh, they're like, oh, spiracy, this is that, and this is the food plants. And also, you know, with the Kool-Aid and also with uh, the number of people just stopping being here anymore, um, you know, unexpectedly. I, know, I almost said that that sudden word, but... Um, that's alarming, and people, they're like, that always happens, these, these spiracy people are just trying to give you fear, no, reality gives us fear, we're trying to give awareness, uh, of the reality, but they don't want you talking about it, right, they don't want you to notice that rates of 
everything have risen to shocking levels, right? But not everything, I guess, just the negative stuff. Levels and rates of negative stuff has riven, riven, it has riven. Well, I imagine it has riven. I'm not exactly sure what that word means, if it's a word, but it's probably riven, but it's also risen super, super high. And we're dangerous if we notice and if we mention it to someone else. Well, then we're a danger and we're trying to harm people somehow by trying to make them aware. But as has been proven, especially over the past couple of years, most things, if not all things, that are labeled spiracy uh, are a short time after deemed true and true all along. And it becomes common knowledge that that's true, right? That Then that angers the people that look like fools coming out here yelling at you, you know, put that diaper on your face, put that diaper on your face. And you're like, well, it doesn't do anything. It's It really doesn't do anything. The TV said it does, stupid. But now, now a short time later, the TV has confirmed what the stupid people have said, right? And like, oh, hey, sorry about that. That was a mistake. Your mask didn't do anything. The, the, the crazy people were right after all. Dum, 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 as usual, right? We are right again. There we are, right again. We don't like to say I told you so, but, you know, we tried to help. And uh, sometimes people just don't want to listen. They get angry. But you can't make this stuff up. And on, uh, obviously, I just touched on just a couple of the new things just now. Because these things are daily, daily, daily. All these things happening. But one of the, you know, the more bold standout things, I thought, anyway, let me know what you think, was the um, East Palestine dirt. I was like, I mean, that's not funny. But I'm just like, come on. Seriously? You would think if there's nothing nefarious going on with any of that, right? They would be on their absolute best behavior, getting the best of the best people to do everything. They'd be like, hey, people already think bad enough of us, of us. So we got to try super hard not to screw anything up. We got to do a top-notch job. And then they're just dumping this stuff somewhere else. Come on, you know? And the food plant fires and explosions and all this. Come on, come on, right? I'm actually wondering if this is going to be a touchy topic now that I've been talking about it and I've said food and stuff, you know, I've, I've used this free speech so much in this video, in this very short video even, that uh, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see how it, it's going to go. But you just can't make it up. Let me know what you think. And I hate to leave you with a teaser, but uh, I just discovered something just a little while ago with the magnetic dust. Unexpectedly, I was just trying to do something else. Well, I'll explain it in another video what I was trying to do. And um, and I, I got, I noticed something. I saw a reaction in doing something with this magnetic dust that shocked me and I was like WTF and my wife too she was like what WTF well do this and yeah we confirmed that it's incredibly strange and uh so we're gonna do that in an upcoming video I'm gonna I have to mess with that again but I I didn't expect anything to come of it so I didn't record it because I wasn't really trying to do anything um but the next time I mess with it I'm gonna record it and I don't want to just throw it out there and tell you what it is I want us to, to experience it together because I promise I, I didn't want to spoil it. I was like, hey, we got to experience this together. So I stopped right away. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I got to wait. I got to wait so I can share this with everybody because I don't know WTF is going on with that right now. And uh, we'll do it a little bit more in depth what I just did and see what kind of result we got. But uh, whew, I, I it, it makes me even more curious about what's, I don't know that I could be more curious about what's in it, but, uh, or more, more suspicious or whatever, but it definitely makes me, uh, makes me want to know more and learn more and do more with it. So we'll do it together. Uh, so thanks for being here. Share your thoughts on all this stuff. I appreciate you. Twist of luck. Truth. I'll see you soon.